Hi everyone. Duplicate bridge means the same hand is being played at multiple tables. So I'm going to play this hand and then at the end we're going to score it up duplicate bridge style. First though, let's just have a look at how duplicate scoring works. So let's imagine this is the score sheet for a hand, we'll call it hand one, and we can see this hand has been played five different times at five different tables, so we have five different results. Of course, sometimes a hand will be played in the same contract, same number of tricks, same score at different tables, but just to show you how the scoring works, I've, I've made each result different. Now before we go any further, let's just quickly have a look at line three, where north-south pair three has played against east-west pair eight, and we see the contract was four spades by south going down one for a score of 50 to east-west. That 50 to east-west is the same thing as minus 50 to north-south. Have a look at line four. East was in three hearts making three for 140 to east-west. I could just as accurately have written minus 140 to north-south. Whatever is plus for east-west is minus for north-south and vice versa. Each north-south pair wins two match points for every other pair that they beat and one match point for every other pair that they tie with. So have a look at line one. 110, how many other north-south pairs did pair one beat? Well, 110 is not as good as 400, so nothing there. But 110 is better than minus 50, which north-south pair three scored. So north-south pair one gets two match points for beating pair three, two match points for beating pair four, and two match points for beating pair five. So north-south pair one wins six match points. Pair two north-south, 400, beat everybody. 400 is better than 110, it's better than minus 50, better than minus 140, better than minus 50, so eight match points. Pair three, north-south, were minus 50. 50 to east-west is minus 50 to north-south. Is minus 50 better than plus 110? Well, obviously not. So nothing there. Is minus 50 better than plus 400? No. Is minus 50 better than minus 140? Well, yes it is. So even though pair 3 were minus 50 in the score, that's still better than minus 140, which pair 4 scored. So north-south 3 win two match points for beating pair 4. And north-south 3 tied with pair 5. So that's another one match point. So two for the win, one for the tie, three match points for pair three. Pair four, north-south, minus 140, beating nobody. And pair five is the same as pair three, even though the contracts were different. The score of minus 50, minus 50 equals three. And we, right, back to our hand. We're south here, not such a great hand, but let's see how we go. West bids one heart, north bids one spade, and east bids four hearts. This is hand four, so everybody is vulnerable. Now I'm going to bid four spades, which you may think is a little bit crazy, or you might think it's a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. I know we've got a big spade fit, we just don't have many points between the two hands. West doubles, sort of no surprise there, and that's the finish of the bidding. Ace of hearts, here's the dummy, and it looks like we're going to lose a heart, and a couple of clubs, and maybe a couple of diamonds. Just following suit here, nothing much we can do. 
Okay, I can rough that one. Let's draw a couple of round of trumps. One more round of trumps. That's all the trumps gone. I can rough a heart over to the ace of diamonds. Rough a heart. I'll play another diamond now. I think I'm still going to have to lose one more trick. I am. And the last two tricks are mine with those trumps. And my score, four spades double down two is minus 500. Not so good. But maybe it's not so bad. Let's imagine that East and West were playing in four hearts. Now just have a look at the East-West cards and see if you can figure out how many tricks East and West would have made had we left them in their four heart contract. From West's point of view, West would have lost a spade and a diamond, and that's probably it. So East and West could have made 11 tricks in their four heart contract for a score of 650. Let's have a look at the score sheet. So here's our imaginary score sheet and we can see that at four tables the contract was four hearts by East making five, seems fairly normal, for a score of 650 to East West. And once again remember that 650 to East West is exactly the same, it has the same meaning as minus 650 to north-south. Four tables minus 650 and here's us, four spades doubled, down to minus 500. Let's work out the match points. So pair one, north-south, score two match points for every pair they beat and one match point for every pair they tied with. So how many pairs did north-south pair one beat? Again, think of this as minus 650. So minus 650 does not beat minus 650, minus 650, minus 650, and minus 650 does not beat minus 500. Minus 650 is worse than minus 500. So pair one beat nobody but they tied with pair two, three, and four. So three match points for tying with the other three minus 650s. And pair two and pair three and pair four are the same. Now here we were, minus 500. How many other pairs did we beat? Well, strangely, Minus 500 is better than minus 650. So we beat pair one. Minus 500, better than minus 650. We did better than pair one. So we scored two match points for beating pair one, two match points for beating pair two, two more match points for beating pair three, and two match points for beating pair four. So we score eight match points. These match points are also converted into a percentage. So the best we could possibly make on this hand was eight, and we in fact scored eight. So our percent score is 100%. Pair one, two, three, and four were three out of eight, which is 37.5%. I didn't do that in my head. I already knew. I was prepared. So we get a top score, top board, for our minus 500. The percent score, match points for every hand are added up to give you a percentage for the entire session. And when you see your score at the end of a session of bridge, this is how it's calculated. Hope that makes sense. Thanks for watching. See you next time.